Yo, what's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel, and behind me, I got the trailer. We're in front of the garage. Yes, we are doing a gig log today. I am so excited. We are back from the COVID. We're doing a gig log for about a 90 person wedding today. It's about an hour 10 away. It's down around Charlotte at a pretty phenomenal venue. I'm really, 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 really excited. So we're gonna go ahead, get loaded up, and get on the road. Well, we have everything loaded up, ready to go. We got Drake over there, ready to assist for the day. Um, and I, I'm, I'm excited. Drake, are you excited to be back? Excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. So, let's go ahead, get on the road. We actually have to make a pit stop along the way. I'll explain that on the way. But yeah, let's get on the road. First stop, we're actually at um, the venue install that I've been working on for like literally the last two months to test out different subwoofer options for the venue. So I'll show you guys in this gig log basically a little bit of what the venue is. A lot of you guys have been seeing it on Instagram, link to Instagram right there, and you've been asking like, where's the where's the video on the install and this stuff? This takes a lot of time. Like this is a brand new venue, so like it's still under construction, which makes my like uh, process of installing the sound system take longer because I believe they just finally got electric hooked up. I started on this project back in March and uh, it's June already. So it takes a long time, it takes process. I had to run the wiring in the raw frames of the building to start with, wait until they finally put up the drywall and then I was able to put in the amps and stuff and then I was able to put the speakers up. It takes time, multiple days. We still have a lot to do here, um, so it's nowhere near finished but there is a full video going to come out on this venue install eventually whenever it's finished and this is the this is the venue this is the venue so coming through the front big open area obviously still under construction these are the six jbl pennants that i've already installed in here we're doing basically a little subwoofer showdown to see what subs he kind of likes this is his own 12 inch sub this is my VRX 918, PRX 715, we'll put these in the ceiling basically up there if we decide to go for one of these subs. But basically, with the current pennants set up, there's not a base in terms of what he wants for the general sound system, even though like DJs like me, we're pretty much gonna be the only DJ out here. We'll bring subs along with these speakers to use. So there's that, and also we're putting two more pennants up there so that they all match. But um, those two are on back order right now, so that's why there's that. But there's an upstairs area up there. There's the main floor down here. It's like 70 by 40. But yeah, the amp system is actually right here. We have a crown four by 300 powering all of the speakers. We're only using two of those for these speakers. So three are on one channel amp, three are on the other. The two upstairs are gonna run on another channel and then there's gonna be two outside underneath the atrium um, for all four of the zones. We have a drive rack zone pro that's gonna be doing all of our controls. So we're, I got a lot of switches we're gonna be putting on the walls for volume control, audio source. He really didn't have any money for microphones. So we went with the GTD audio microphones just for if they do like a conference or something in here, they have a wireless microphone system. So we put in the wireless microphones here, firm and power strip, and then up here is an extended Bluetooth range adapter hook up like a phone or anything like that so those are the sources there's also gonna be a projector source so there's gonna be a projector plug down there big projector on that side big projector behind me TVs on the side it's gonna be dope but um yeah we're doing basically a subwoofer showdown see uh, what subwoofer he wants to go with more than likely we're gonna be doing a PRX 18 and we're gonna basically create a uh, shelf up here and secure it to a shelf up in the ceiling more than likely to stay within budget we could fly a VRX sub but um you're looking at like twenty five hundred dollars to do that versus a prx sub we could buy a used one for probably right around 700 bucks um his contractors will build the shelf and we'll secure it to a shelf up in the ceiling and um that'll be a lot cheaper of an option <laughs> All right, so we're packing up at the venue. Basically, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in a PRX, either 718 or 818. We're gonna try and buy used so that way we can save some money and not go too far over budget with the sound system. But um, yeah, Andrew and his crew, they're general contractors. They're gonna basically build a shelf up there to hang it with some eye bolts. We're gonna put the sub up in the ceiling, uh, ratchet strap it down, and that'll be the install. Anyways, we're gonna go get lunch and head over to the venue for the wedding. Well, we're here at Sweet Mongolia. And it looks like it's gonna rain here soon, but uh, we got a little muddy at the construction venue. A little bit of mud, a little bit of mud. But anyways, we're gonna head on in and get started. Pretty simple on the load in, just uh, roll it in.
we're, we're set up and changed and like we're all ready to go. Haven't done this in a while, so we don't know how to gig log, we don't know how to film, we don't know how to do anything, we're just relearning everything. But yeah, everything's fully set up. Let me take you through a quick tour of what all uh, we have going while Drake mixes behind the decks. So starting off, we have the very clean, very clean setup with the um, new table. Everyone, if you haven't seen this table, there's a whole video on it. We have two Rain 12s, a Pioneer S9, laptop stand, all built in, ready to go. Rocking my laptop on the side here with the um, sticker light. This actually is glowing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's actually glowing. You'll see it better at night. Then behind it, we have the facade. Yes, a facade. Yes, we have a facade. But behind the facade is the audio rack with the two tables on the side. Basically, a nice storage area. This is kind of where the planner and uh, the photographer has been storing all their stuff. I love this. It basically, it gives them a little work section. We have our little microphone sanitization area with our microphone sanitization spray. We got some hand sanitizer here to basically sanitize all the mics, made sure to label them so that way we know which one is which, which one has been sanitized, all that good stuff, getting that ready to go. Here's where the lighting laptop sits. So this is where all of the show express will take place back here, which is all built into the audio rack. So Yamaha MG12, there's a whole video on this thing, but Furman Power Strip, Chave Show Express Plus, DBX Drive Rack PA2, Audio Technica wired micro or wireless microphone built into it, power strip on the bottom, cable totes, cooler bags, all sorts of stuff back here, extra batteries, you name it, everything is here. Speaker wise, two JBL PRX 715XLFs, two JBL PRX 712s, and we're riding two Chave Wash FX2s, one on this side of the room and one on the far side, as well as 20. Yes, 20 wireless hex up lights. These are my new Chinese ones. So we're rocking 20 of those around the whole entire room. You'll see them come to life later, as well as a couple underneath the DJ booth for a little accent lighting. But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much the setup. On the downside right now, this room is extremely, extremely echoey. Like uh, it's like I don't. You could probably hear on this how echoey it is. But like trying to do announcements, like we did a test walkthrough doing the grand introductions, and it was so echoey like it's ridiculously there's so much echo but that's the setup this whole entire setup took us like 30 minutes max set everything up super quick super easy oh ceremony is outside let's go uh, let's go look at the ceremony <laughs> all right so probably can't see me maybe yeah maybe you can't this is where the ceremony system is if you guys have not seen this before this is the ultimate ceremony rig we have the rack right here with the two wireless audio technical microphones we have the custom power strip which functions as battery backup with the 12 volt battery inside of this. So it switches between 12 volt or AC power, depending on what we have, so that you never lose power. Yamaha MG6 mixer in here. Aux cable runs over here to plug into the laptop. These are our two lapel microphones we're gonna be running. Hooked up channel one, channel two, channel three, and four. And runs over here to the LJ Systems Maui 5 Go. That is all we're rocking. That is the ceremony. Here's a little look at the back if you've never seen this before. But here's your outs for your speakers. We're only running one speaker on mono. Here's my left and right inputs for the aux cable that goes over to the laptop. We have accessory power if we want to plug in something. This only works if you have AC power, power con in the power. But like I said, it can run off battery power. Two half wave antennas. Back inside, I'm going to turn on the lights and get you guys some cinematic footage of this dope setup. Ceremony all done, super hot out here, going inside, cocktail portion. Wedding time, wedding time. We didn't film anything, again, sorry, but we did introductions. We've done the first dance. I think Drake got a little bit of the first dance, but we're just not in sync, honestly. It's been three months since we've done a wedding. Um, and we're just out of sync in terms of like what we normally do. Completely forgot to start recording for the introductions. Introductions went dope. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like a casual, it seems very casual right now, to say the least. <laughs> You don't know how much I miss wedding venue food. Oh my god, this looks amazing.
Ladies and gentlemen, take one last look here. Uplighting is dope. Um, just to give you guys a reference, these Chinese uplights, because I know everyone wants to know, um, this is my first time actually using these. We currently have, after using these from, let's see, five hours straight, five hours straight of using them either with like a constant on like this or doing the party lights later on, with full DMX, 60% battery left on them after five hours. Now these are all brand new, but um, yeah, there you go. There's our first impression. Anyways. Love the table, tons of compliments on the table. Obviously this thing's dope, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go change and uh, we're gonna get started tearing down. Well, Drake's already getting the up lighting up. We'll see how fast we can tear all this down. So let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we set an all-time record for getting out of here. With the new setup, 45 minutes in the trailer and out. We started about 10.30, 10.20 is when they did the sparkler thing, so somewhere around 10.30. It's only 11.15 right now and we're we're done, we're out of here. Pretty impressive. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna end the video right here out front of the Sweet Mangolina Estate. First off, one, absolutely hate the acoustics in this venue. It's, it's just ridiculously. It's, so much reverb, like echo everywhere. It doesn't matter, like, oh my God, so annoying. Other than that, great party, great wedding. It feels amazing to be back. I'm sorry for all you guys that are not actually back and doing gigs, but don't feel too bad because my next wedding in this coronavirus thing is not until July 25th. So I have a whole entire month until my second one back, but this was nice to break the ice off, get back at it, um, it was great. So if you would, please slap a like on this video, leave down in the comment section down below what you thought of this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, DJ Life Clothing, DJ Life Merch, Summer Drop coming soon, all that good stuff. But but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, my name is DJ Rick Keep them records spinning. And I'll see you guys next time. Right, Drake? Oh, yeah. Peace.